I haven't really prepared a speech today. I'm just going to speak from the heart for a few things here. Uh, I know how close Justin was with his men, and I know that, uh, as I mentioned last year's ride, on the last night home on leave, he said to me, he said, Dad, he said, if I do not make it home, he said, it is my duty, I'm trying to work, it was my duty as a soldier to do what I am doing, he said, and it is a promise that I have made to my men to protect them. And I know with his men, it was the same way to protect him. They all had each other's backs. I've had many conversations since then with other families that have lost their son. I've had many conversations with soldiers who have lost brothers and soldiers that have served. And one thing that I have come to know about the military pe people is it is a family that whether you're serving or you're a member of a, of a service man or woman, we are, it is a family. It is a very, very close-knit family that takes care of each other. It is also, as everybody else that takes their time to ride today, you also are our family because you are here and we're all here to support each other that are here today. This year's ride, we wish to honor our wounded warriors so many times when these boys come home, they've lost an arm, they've lost a leg, eyesight, brain trauma, uh, affected by Agent Orange in Vietnam and ignored. People so often just forget about them and just, uh, and just bypass and it's, it's not much of a thought. But this ride, and those of you that ride today, I want just to say thank you to these guys that are here for the sacrifices for what they made for their country, whether it's an arm, a leg, eyesight, whatever, They've made a sacrifice and let them always be remembered like we remember our fallen soldiers. And also we chose to come here today because we have over 850 National Guardsmen leaving for Kuwait to run missions into uh, Iraq on, of all days, September 11th this year. So we chose these hollow grounds to come to pay respect to those men and women and to their families and so that is why we are here in this parking lot today and as we leave here and go through town we are going by the armory and you will see all their vehicles they are lock loaded and they are ready to roll they're ready to roll for our defense and for our freedom so again i wish to everybody here to say thank you to those members that are here their family members and let these people know that we're all thinking of them today and thank you Thank you, Skip.